Pour tuer. Pour tuer. Pour tuer. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, uh, we got Project Zippy on the block. Uh, today we're going to be removing the stuffing tube from the hull. Okay, I got a couple tricks that might help you guys out with that. We'll also be pulling the Teflon liner from the stuffing tube. Okay, it's actually a couple of like commonly asked questions I get all the time. So uh, stick around. Hopefully this helps you guys out. So like I said, we're going to remove the stuffing tube, but first we're going to try to get the Teflon liner out. Okay, uh, when you're pulling your Teflon liner, it could be it could be a pain in the butt sometimes. And, uh, you know, some, some companies actually put a little bit of adhesive on the Teflon liner so that it doesn't, like, move inside the stuffing tube. Uh, sometimes there's just, the Teflon liner is just such a tight fit in, in your brass stuffing tube that it's, like, impossible to get out and other times um you've you know we run our boats they run low on grease the the cable will actually tend to get the stuffing tube hot from running the boat with low grease and will basically like scorch our teflon liner into our stuffing tube <laughs> which makes it tough to get out so uh you know, you, I've already got my strut off, so you probably need to go ahead and pull your strut off so you can get to your Teflon liner from both ends. Okay, we're going to pull the motor out. So we have uh, accessibility from the forward and aft section of our boat. Okay, I don't think, I think this one's actually uh, going to be easy to get out. So um, I'm going to actually go over a few different methods real quick with you. The most simple method of getting your your Teflon liner out is putting your cable if you're running like a 0 0.150 3 16 cable a lot of times you can just put your cable in there okay or a cable push push that 3 16 stub shaft and a lot of times it'll push your your Teflon liner right out you guys see that okay just use your cable with the stub shaft My, like I said mine's easy Okay, I got another one for you. Screw extractor. Okay, you can actually put that screw extractor in your stuffing tube if you got the right size. Use a screw extractor and rotate it the opposite direction and it'll grab onto your Teflon liner and you could pull your Teflon liner out with a screw extractor. You guys see that? Pull it out enough so you can get to it. Okay, that's one way to do it. I've also used a drill bit in the same way. Okay, take you a drill bit, get you a drill bit that actually fits tight in your Teflon liner. Okay, it needs to fit tight. So whenever you like, dr like drill the drill bit into the Teflon liner, it'll actually do the same thing as the screw extractor, you know, and kind of bite onto your teflon liner and, and you can pull it out once it bites you feel me so uh those are a couple of ways okay if it's not wanting to budge if your teflon liner is not wanting to budge and it's like it's either like glued in or it's been like scorched into the stuffing tube you could take a lighter a, a torch lighter or a regular big lighter and lightly heat up the stuffing tube lightly so you don't mess up the hull but if you if you heat it up okay that's going to actually loosen that teflon liner up loosen the adhesive up and you should be able to get in there and, and like pull it out with your cable you know pull it out with your cable or or you can get another tube that 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 fits like perfectly perfectly inside your main stuffing tube it has to fit perfect if it don't if it don't fit perfectly it's going to go inside this teflon liner and it's going to like expand the teflon liner in the stuffing tube and it, you're going you're not going to get it out but um once you get everything heated up you know use the flex cable method the screw extractor method get you a brass tube 
you know, that fits good in there and, and tap it out with a, a rubber mallet. You know, it needs to fit in the stuffing tube tight. No play, you know. So it don't like um, squeeze the Teflon liner and, and just bind it up in there. So that's a few different ways to do it. Um, this is actually my favorite way to do it. If I know the Teflon liner, if I know it's like moving around in my stuffing tube, this is a, a piece of wire that I sharpened up and I just rolled the tip of it. Okay, I rolled the tip of it. You can stick that in there, kind of grab onto the Teflon liner and pull it out. Now with this method right here, you actually mess up your Teflon liner. You see that? I just put a big hole in it. You see that? Okay, so if you're going to use this method right here, that's like last resort, resort type deal. You know what I'm saying? Because once you once you put it in there and grab the Teflon, it's going to actually it's actually going to mess it up. But that's one way to do it. Okay, um, my stuffing tube is actually stuck in this boat. Okay, it's actually in there it's not really going nowhere i actually was tapping on it with a hammer trying to loosen up before the video and i, I cracked the hole right here okay so uh a lot of times with stuffing tubes they're nine times out of ten they're epoxied into the hull okay they epoxy them all right and uh the one way i found to to get your stuffing tube out of boat without damaging the boat is heating the through hole area up not the hull this is a plastic hull abs so if we heat the abs up it's gonna damage the boat right uh i know you know heat it up and then just you know gently tap it out okay now now know when you tap out a stuffing tube with any hammer whether it's a soft or a hard hammer you're actually going to roll the end of it. So keep that in mind. When you tap it out, before you you get the end of the stuffing tube to the through hole, you need to take a piece of sandpaper or file, file off the rounded area so you can pull it through. You feel me? So, uh, you know, some boats is hard. Some boats are easy. Some boats I've just been able to tap on it and kind of break the epoxy loose and it'll come right out. Other boats, a little, little tougher. So like I said, I use heat, okay? I, 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 I use a little bit of heat <clears throat> just enough heat to kind of heat the, the brass stuffing tube up so that you don't mess up the hole okay might take a second you definitely want to remove the Teflon liner before you heat it up okay because if you don't the Teflon liner is gonna heat up with it and you might not like get the whole area heated up, you know. So, um, I just want to show you. Oh, damn, it already tapped out. See that just by heating it up a little bit. Um, and I was trying to tap it out before this video without heat, and you could see the crack I put in it. You see that? So, our stuffing tube's going to come out this way, okay. Or I guess we could go either way, really. I guess since it's loosened up now, that heat it'll 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 do it in a heartbeat, man. It don't take much to heat up epoxy. Once it, epoxy heats up, it loses its its uh its strength, you know. So I'm actually gonna tap it out this way. So that's all I can go get on. Okay. So get your rag or something if it's hot, you know. But you shouldn't need a rag. Oh, so this one, okay, okay, so this one here, it's actually got an S-bend in it. You guys see that? It has a slight S-bend in it, okay, and it was epoxied up forward, which I actually took some pliers and kind of knocked the epoxy, the adhesive off up here, and it was epoxied in the through hole there. And we, when we heated up the tube, the, the heat transferred to the epoxy and loosened it up, and I was able to tap it out pretty easy uh you know putting an s-bend in a stuffing tube is kind of an older trick you know your 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 flex cable will basically run like that and it and it reduces like chatter cable whip okay um so you know if you actually experiencing cable whip in a in a boat you could put a little s-bend in it make sure it lines up to your motor and it lines up to your strut properly but that s-bend will actually 
take some of the chatter out. Now, putting an S-Band in your stuffing tube has uh, has its benefits and it has its downfalls. When you put too much of an S-Band in it, it actually creates more resistance in in the in the the drive line. Okay, and you know you're not probably not putting quite as much power down. Now, uh, you could. If you're completely replacing your stuffing tube and you're having a hard time getting it out, you could take you a pair of needle nose pliers, crimp down on the end of it so you could bite on it and pull it out. Maybe even tap and pull at the same time to get your, your stuffing tube out. You know, there's more than one way to skin a, ha a cat, you know. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out like i said it's a very commonly asked question and a lot of guys have a lot of issues getting teflon liners out getting stuffing tubes out their hole and uh, you know you got to work at it you know you got to use tools to get things out use your you know what you got you know what i mean so uh, hopefully this helps you thanks for watching we'll see you next time